Have the following tools and aids ready. Set up the water supply and have the unit connected to electricity by an electrician. Once the unit has been properly connected, you can plug in the power cable. First, check with a visual inspection and then with a water spirit level whether the unit is level. For a safe stand, set the height adjustable feet as low as possible and align the system. Check again with the water spirit level whether the unit is level, otherwise there is a risk of the unit tipping over. Check all screw connections above and below the control cabinet for tightness as they may have loosened during transport. Open all inspection doors and covers and check whether components or filters have slipped or been damaged during transport. Note that the conductive galvanized screws with tooth locked washers must be reinserted in the same place. Otherwise, there is a risk of explosion in ATEX units. Retighten all screws. Compare the unit and pipe scheme with the technical drawing. Switch on the unit using the main switch. The control display will now start up. If an alarm message is displayed, read the information under Control in the operating instructions and contact a service technician. Start the unit via the control display. The unit will now automatically fill with water until the optimum level is reached. This process can take 5 to 10 minutes. Visually check the level on the transparent hose at the side of the unit. Switch the unit on via the control display for 3 seconds and then immediately switch it off again. Check whether the direction of rotation of the impeller corresponds to the direction of the arrow. Do not reach into the impeller when doing this. Now close all inspection doors and covers again. Check with the palm of your hand at the transitions whether the unit is airtight or whether you can feel a draft. You should not hear any sucking noises at the transitions. Switch the unit on again and disconnect the cable from the upper level sensor. The unit should now switch off automatically. Check the volume flow, air speed, and negative pressure by drilling a 10 mm hole into the pipe and holding the appropriate measuring instruments into it. Keep the test report that you receive with the order confirmation until the first maintenance so that you can compare values. Annual maintenance is recommended by the manufacturer. You can find the protective equipment you need for your material here.